So welcome to another very exciting Hackaround challenge and today we are going to print a, a linked list in reverse. So this follows, from, this follows from reversing a linked list, so that's exactly what we are going to do. We are going to first reverse the linked list and then we print, we then print it in reverse. So let's go down to write it. So I'm going to write exactly the code we use when we reverse the linked list and you can find this link to this challenge of reversing a linked list in the description box below of this video. So again, we are going to initialize three pointers. So it's going to be pre. All right, so we have our three pointers. Now we are going to start a while loop that continues to check if the current node is null, is none or not. So I'm going to say while. So while current node is not none. All right, so we are going to first grab the next node and then reverse it. So I'm going to say I'm going to say next node is equal to current node dot next and then we grab it and we spin it around by saying current node dot next is equal to brief node so we spin it around and now the next thing we want to do is now to advance one step so i'm going to assign the previous node to the current node assign the current node to the next node so it's going to be brief node is equal to current node and current node is equal to the next node all right so and then at this point so let me just tell you what we do to print out first we are going to fetch all the data into an array so i'm going to initialize an array called results is equal to an empty list and then for each iteration i'm going to append an item into the into the list so i'm going to say results dot append kernel dot data all right so this is what we have at this point so at the end of this while loop at the end of this while loop, we have uh, our results completed. And then we are going to reverse these results using this code. So let me just show you how to reverse uh, a list. Not a linked list, but a list. Because we need to have this as a list first, which we already have. I'm going to now reverse it using this code. I'm going to say results. So I trade from the back and this is give, gives us the reversed version of this result. Um, just make sure I'm not missing something. Um, all right, so the next thing we want to do is now to print it in reverse. I'm not going to use a loop, I'm going to use list comprehension. So list comprehension to print it in reverse is going to say print, print x for x in results. Okay, so this is basically it. And if you get it this way, it should be fine. So I'm going to run this code and let's see what we have as the output. So it passes the two sample test cases as you can see right here. And I'm going to go ahead to submit the code and let's see what we have. All right, so you can see that it passes all the test cases as well. So I'm going to be stopping here and I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And also leave me a comment if this has been informative for you. And I'm gonna be stopping here. We'll see you in the next challenge. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.